Could you explain to me what is the authentic method for performing the Eid prayer? And perhaps you would give us a short description for the benefit of the viewers watching today. As far as Eid Salah is concerned, there are different types of Muslims pray and there are different opinions. But as far as you go over the authentic sources, the Quran and the Say Hadith, then you have one common method. And according to the authentic sources of all the Say Hadith, if you collect, we come to know, that as far as the Eid Salah is concerned, whether it be Eid al Fitr or Eid al Adha, we have to offer two Salah, two Rakat Salah, two units of Salah. It's mentioned in the Hadith of Sunan Bahaki, volume number three, book of Juma Salah, Hadith number 5719, Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. He said that the traveler's prayer is two rakat, the Adha prayer is two rakat, talking about Eid al-Adha, and the Juma prayer is two rakat. This is the full length of all these prayers as it came from the Messenger of Allah. That means Eid Salah should be two rakat. Point number two, that before Eid Salah, there is no Adhan and there is no Akama. It's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of Salah, hadith number 1929, Jabir ibn Samura, he said that he prayed along with the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, both the Eids, on more than one or two occasions, and there was no Adhan and no Akama. That means for each Salah, there should be no Adhan and no Akama. It's different than the normal congregation of Salah. Point number three, that there is no Salah before the Eid Salah and after the Eid Salah. There is no Turaqa Sunnah before or after that. And it's mentioned in the Hadith of Sunan Abu Daud, volume number one, in the Book of Salah, Hadith number 1155, where Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, he says that the Prophet came out to pray the Eid Salah on Eid al-Fitr day, and he offered two rakat, and before that and after that he did not pray. That means before and after Eid Salah there are no other prayers. Further, point number four, when a person starts the Eid Salah, he should say the Takbir al-Ihram, that's Allah Akbar, and then say the open supplication. This is followed by seven Takbir in the first rakat, and in the second rakat he should say five Takbir. This we come to know from the authentic sources of Sunan Abu Daud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, hadith number 1145 and 1146, where Hadith Aisha, radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, she says that the Prophet, when he used to offer the Eid al-Fitr Salah and the Eid al-Adha Salah, that means Salah of both the Eid, he used to say seven takbir in the first rakat, and five takbir in the second rakat. This is the authentic way of offering Eid Salah. After that, a person should say, Auz billahi min shaitan rajim, bismillahir rahman rahim. I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the accursed, and in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. And then he should recite Surah Fatiha. And after Surah Fatiha, in the first rakat, recite Surah Qaf, chapter number 50 followed by in the second rakat, Surah Qamar, chapter number 54. Or, in the first rakat, he can recite Surah Ala, chapter number 87, and second rakat, Surah Gashia, chapter number 88. Both these types of first and second rakat have been proven from authentic hadith. But even if a person recites any other surah, any other verse of the Quran, yet the salah will be accepted. These are the recommended ones. It is sunnah which the Prophet recited. Furthermore, after the Eid Salah, there is a Qudbah of the Eid Salah. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of two Eids, hadith number 962. Ibn Abbas, may said, that he has offered Eid Salah with the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa with Abu Bakr, with Umar, with Uthman, may Allah be pleased with them all. And all of them, they offered the Eid Salah first, then was followed by the Khutbah. All of them, they gave the Khutbah after offering the Eid Salah. It's further mentioned in 
Sunan Abu Daud, Worm number one, in the Book of Salah, Hadith number 1151, Prophet Muhammad after offering Eid Salah and before starting the Khutbah of Eid, he said that all those who want to listen to the Khutbah can listen to the Khutbah. All those who want to go, they can go. Now here is a very important point. Most of the times you find in the Khutbah of Eid Salah, most of the Imams say, they don't get up, it is wrong. And they prevent them from going and they say, you have a sin and they say many things, it's haram to get up, etc. Imagine the Prophet Muhammad when he gave the khutbah, he said, if you want to listen, you can listen. If you want to go, you can go. Does it mean that the Imam, the khutbah that they give today is much more important than the khutbah of Prophet Muhammad It's a pity. The Sahih Hadith says that the Prophet Muhammad said, if you want to hear the khutbah, you can hear. If you want, you can go. But it's preferable to hear the khutbah. But the Prophet gave permission that if they want, they can go. And further, it's mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number one, in the Book of Salah, Hadith number 1068. The Prophet said that both the Eid have synchronized the Eid al-Fitr and the Friday. Friday is called as a weekly Eid. So those who do not want to offer the Juma Salah may not do it because the Eid Salah in congregation is sufficient. But we will offer the Juma Salah. That means, imagine, the Eid prayer is so important in congregation. So if it falls on the same day, Eid Salah is sufficient. Juma Salah may not be prayed, but if you pray, it is good, Alhamdulillah. But those who don't pray Juma Salah, it becomes compulsory that they should pray the Duhar Salah. This was in short regarding the authentic way of offering the Eid Salah.